Hi, I'm going to show you how TCP sequence numbers and acknowledgement numbers work back and forth, how we count up and why. Explain a little bit about TCP. So let's jump right in. Um, and this is a real example that I took from a Wireshark uh, capture. So we have a client here and she wants to know the best way to remove socks. So she goes to a website and first DNS happens. And then once you get an IP address, um, then you can set up a connection, TCP connection with the server. So we do this using uh, the three-way handshake. It's connection oriented and bidirectional. So the, ser uh, the client sets up a connection and then the server sets up a connection. And the interesting, interesting thing to note is that if the SYN or VIN bit is set in the TCP header, um, it'll increase the acknowledgements and, and sequence numbers, which is kind of weird. So that's why um, sometimes people were, will refer to it as a phantom byte, because even though we didn't send anything, uh, the, the counters increased by one byte. Normally the counters, the, the sequence numbers and the acknowledgement numbers only increase when you send data or receive data, acknowledge it saying, I expect the, the next byte in order. So let's go through this. So the client sets up a connection with the server and it sets a synchronization uh, a uh, sequence number of zero now technically it's a 32-bit number and our client sets it to a random number so Wireshark uses that as a starting point and we set that to zero so then we count up from there it's just easier to see that way in Wireshark and we send one phantom byte even though there's not there, there isn't a payload because the sin bit is sent um, it's as if we sent one byte, which is kind of weird. And that'll help us with our counting. So now the server says, hey, I got that. I got the zero byte. That one byte we sent, we started with zero, it's inclusive. And I'm ready for the next byte of one that we, uh, I should see back from the client. And it sends its own sequence number, 32-bit uh, number. Um, and we use that as a starting point wire shark as zero. Makes it easier to see. Now the client says, um, I acknowledge that, right? I received your zero byte here. I received your zero byte and I'm ready for the next one starting with one. Because we sent that one phantom bytes inclusive. We start with zero. That's our one byte. And the acknowledgement saying I received the zero byte. I'm ready for the next byte, which is the one byte. And the sequence number here is one here because the server said hey I should expect back the first byte the, the byte well technically the second but uh, I should see a sequence number back of one coming back this way sure enough you'll see that sequence number is one so you can see how these acknowledgments go back and forth um, and the counters increase this like pattern of hopping sequence ack um, sequence ack you can also look at it the perspective of the client. So if you look down the client, we sent a phantom byte. We start with zero. So the next one we send should be one. And the same thing with the server. So you can look at it either way, looking back and forth, hopping with acknowledgments or sequences or keeping track of the client perspective going down or the server perspective. So let's continue on. So once we set up a connection, um, now our client will send a git request. This is what it kind of looks like. So uh, we start with one in ACK of one because the last packet, we didn't send or receive anything, right? We just sent an ACK. So it stays the same. But we send a payload of 376 bytes. So started with one inclusive, we count up to 376. Um, so our acknowledgement says in the next packet, their server says, okay, I got that packet, that git request, and the next packet I should see, segment, should be the 377th byte coming back on the server perspective. And it um, has a sequence of one, right, because um, we sent that phantom byte. Remember the last byte we sent was one, we started with zero, so the next one in order should be one. Right? And you can also look at it from this acknowledgement saying the client says, hey, 
The next packet I should expect should start with byte 1. And sure enough, it starts with byte 1. So either way you want to look at it. So that's why those sequence numbers are the way they are. So we send a get request. Our server says, okay, I got that. And here's my payload, HTTP, okay. So it sends 270 bytes. So starting with one inclusive, we count up to 270. So the, the, the client acknowledges that saying, hey, I received 270 bytes and I expect back from the server in the next packet down, 271 is the next sequence coming back. You'll see that down there. See this pattern going back and forth. And the sequence is 377 because the acknowledgement in the previous packet said, hey, I received the 376 bytes and I should see the 377th coming back. And sure enough, the next packet down here coming back is 377th byte. Now, even though we didn't technically send anything, right, this is acknowledgement, <clears throat> that's what it's set to. The next one in order. 377th byte. And then the acknowledgement is 271 here because um, we're acknowledging that, uh, yeah, or repeating myself, but yeah, you know, we received 270 bytes and ready for the 271st coming back. I already explained why this is 377. Again, you can look at the uh, client perspective, counting down, I mean, counting up. So we start with one, 376. So the next byte in order that we send so far is this. So you can look at it either way with sequence, acknowledging that with the payload or looking down straight down the perspectives of the client or server. So now our server actually sends the data. So we get request and OK and then acknowledge that. And now we uh, the server sends the actual HTML code. So we start with 271 because that's what it expects next. Right, this the act said, I expect 271 to come back. The first that byte we start with 270, that's why. And the acknowledgement is 377 because this said, um, I got that. He see, it hasn't changed from this because we haven't sent anything. Right, this was just an act, so the next one stays the same. There's nothing really to acknowledge so far from the previous packets. So uh, we send 164 bytes. So starting with 271 inclusive, we count up 164. So that gives us um, 434 bytes. So the acknowledgement coming back from the client says, okay, I received those 164 bytes and I expect to see the next one from the server, 435. And its sequence here is 377. It hasn't changed because the last packet that we see sent from the client didn't have a payload of anything or sin or fin bit set. So it stays the same. Erase this. So data from the server, website data, we acknowledge it. So now the server will close the connection because it sent the data and it's all done. So we're washing our hands. Okay, I'm done. Uh, you got all the data you need. So the sequence here is 435 because we had the acknowledgement saying the client said, I should expect to see back the 435th byte and from the server, sure enough, sends the 435th byte even though there isn't, um, isn't a payload. And the acknowledgement is 377, hasn't changed from the last one because we haven't received anything, right? The next one was this ACK, and now we're sending this FIN. And because the FIN bit is set, is set um, it's as if we sent one phantom byte. Sometimes you'll hear people say a phantom byte because there's not actually a payload in this. 
But that's just the way it is for the um, three-way handshake and now the four-way termination. So let's continue on. So the <clears throat> server ends the connection saying, hey, I'm done. And the client says, okay, I got that. I got that. So it sequences 377 because um, the acknowledgement here, the server says, whoops, a little too far. The server says, um, I should see the next packet 377th byte. And sure enough, we start with that. That's what we should see. And the client just pers 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 perspective, <laughs> if I can say that right, hasn't changed, right? Looking at the payloads up from the client perspective, we haven't sent anything, right? 377, 377. We haven't sent anything actually for a while. All the way up here, the Git request, that's the last time we actually sent something. So either way you want to look at it. So 377 sequence, an acknowledgement saying I got that one phantom byte, and I expect to see back from the server 436. So now the client ends its connection. So the server ends it. Now we the client ends its side of the connection, TCP connection. So you'll notice these sequence numbers don't change from the previous packet because we didn't send anything or the sin or fin bit wasn't set in the previous packet to make the counters go up and we didn't receive anything in the last packet because there was nothing to acknowledge, right? Nothing to acknowledge. So they stay the same and we send one phantom byte. Again, doesn't exist. It's just because this fin bit is set that increases those secret, um, sequence and acknowledgement numbers. So the server says, hey, I got that. I got that dude. So its sequence is 436 because the previous packet, the client says, I expect back from the server the 436th byte acknowledgement. And that's what it sees. Check this. That's why it sequences that. And because if we look at this per perspective of the server, we sent one phantom byte, inclusive 435. If we look down, we haven't sent anything. So the next one in order from the server should be 436 byte we should send. So either way you want to look at it, using sequence acknowledgments back and forth or the perspectives of the client versus server. That's why it's 436. And the acknowledgement is 378. The reason why it's 378 is because the last packet we received from the client, the server says, hey, I got that one phantom byte. So it received the 377th byte. And the server says here, hey, I got that that byte, and I'm ready to, I'm expecting the 370 eighth byte coming back if there was something coming back but this is the very end of the the connection and that's it so fin close server closes connection ack i acknowledge that then this the client says hey i want to end my side too and the server says okay dude see you later and that's it so that's how the acknowledgements and sequence numbers go back and forth so to recap Client accessed a web page on the server, and we started with the three way handshake. Then the client sent a Git request. We got back an OK. Then the server sent us the data. And then, after all the data was sent, the server ends its side of the connection, and then the client ends its side of the connection. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.